Hello everyone, in today's video we will be looking at Cassian Andor from Andor from the Vintage Collection. Okay, so here we have the box and first thing I'm going to say is the box is a bit damaged. But this isn't like um, a pre-order, this is uh, a figure I've wanted for quite a while but I only recently about... Yeah, there's a lot of damage there, that's I've just noticed it's coming off there. Um, so yeah, uh, I only recently watched the show about, well, I say recently, it was probably about a month and a half, two months ago at the time of recording this. So that's about almost a year after the show came out. And, um, you know, I, I, I like to get figures that I sort of, from things I've watched. Obviously, I've seen the character before and he was, you know, he was decent in uh, Rogue One. But yeah, from the show, I did have my eye on it, but... Um, Never, never sort of got around to getting him because I had to put him uh, sort of on the back burner because, yeah, I can't just sort of buy all the figures I wanted. So anyway, we watched the show recently and he sort of, uh, he was always on my list, but uh, it kind of moved up, my, up the list and um, I got him for my birthday. So obviously he's not uh, like, you know, straight from Hasbro Pulse, which is where I normally get my figures from. Uh, so this one might have been sitting around for best part of a year I want to say now maybe eight nine months something like that that I think this figure has been out for at least um so yeah it's taken a bit of damage on there and stuff so there's a big crease up there here's the back VC261 so yeah I just I wanted to get him and I thought you know what if I'm gonna be unboxing him uh, I might as well put it on the uh put it on the channel whilst I do it he's looking good so far you know, there's a bit of detail on there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get this opened up and we'll take a closer look. So, here is the figure straight off of the card. And he's looking pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is like a sort of soft plastic coat thing here. And, uh, nice colouring on it and nice, I think, all the paint applications within the lines. But yeah, that face is pretty spot on, I would say. Pretty good, I'm liking the beard effect on there. No complaints there. There's the hair, I'm going here. So I'm not gonna spend too much time because like I said, this guy's been out for a while. Um, I'm not sure how popular the show was. Um, you know, like a lot of people sort of slept on it, I think, or literally slept through it by the sounds of it. They said it was a bit slow. I absolutely loved it. I think it could be one of, if not maybe even the best thing to come out of Disney Star Wars. I know that's probably a bit controversial, you know, with shows like The Mandalorian and whatnot, but it was just such a different type of show and I absolutely loved the tension and everything in all the episodes, the build-up, the characters, everything for me was spot on. So, but I know a lot of people weren't too fussed, so don't know how many people will actually have or ever get this figure or be interested in it but i i always was i was just waiting until i watched the show but then it's been a busy couple of months even since i've watched the show so i had to sort of buy some other things so yeah that's him there there's his blaster there nice bit of paint on there sort of two different colors like the gun sort of like metallic matte black color and then the brown on the handle. So yeah, we'll uh, set this guy up and talk a little bit more about him. Okay, so some quick final thoughts. As I said, this is just gonna be a quick little video um, because I wanted this figure for a while. Uh, I finally got him, but like I said, he's been out for a while. So I'm not sure if there's much interest in the figure or you know if there's anything left to say that hasn't already been said by everyone. But my personal opinion on this figure, I think he's great. Um, it's such a great character. Uh, like I said, Rogue One, he was sort of okay. There wasn't a lot going on with him. There was a bit there. But the show has completely sort of fleshed him out already. And like I said, I, I'm a massive fan of the show. I'd love to see more figures from it. Obviously, I'm always wanting more figures from content that I really enjoy. Um, but I think there's so many different characters that could be done. As far as I'm aware, there's two and or figures... I think it's Val, if I remember rightly, her name. And I don't think there's anyone else in the Vintage Collection. Uh, I think the Black Series is obviously different. 
you know, as per usual, there's, uh, I think there's more characters on offer there, I want to say. But yeah, there's so many characters that could be. So, don't know if they'll get added now, um, or not. I suppose there's always Season 2 where they could add some more. Um, but yeah, this, this figure is awesome. Um, just, yeah, great detail. Articulation is on point. The paintwork is all on point as well. And yeah, it's just a, a cool little figure from an awesome show. And I would urge you, if you haven't watched it, to watch it and, you know, sit through it. Because it is, uh, I, I personally think it's uh, some of the best Star Wars we've ever had. So yeah, like I said, there's not much to say that hasn't already been said about this guy. So yeah, just uh, thank you for watching this. Um, if you've got any thoughts on him or about anything at all, just drop it down below. I'm always happy to engage with people. So, yeah, apart from that, I think we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.